G'day viewers. I think we're live. I had a bit of a hiccup at the start there, but that's okay. It's what happens. Looks like we're live. Let me see if it's actually working. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Yes, it's working. Okay. Righto then. That's the problem with the very short little intro. And there's someone viewing. Hello. We're back in Spirit of Street Steam. Spirit of Steam. On a stream. And I'm talking to myself at the moment, but that's fine. And we're going to run the scenario Worst Winter of All. But before I do, there was a comment about head codes earlier. So I've put together a little slide to talk about head codes. And I will cover these off in a tutorial in a little while. So I might as well have a look at them now, though. Wouldn't hurt. Let's, uh, where's presentation mode? There we go. So there's basically 10 of them. And this is for the LMS in the 1950s. We have express passengers, which run at the track speed limit, and they are classification one. And they have two lights, one on either side. For ordinary passenger or mixed freight, they run at the track limit as well. And they have a single light at the top, and they are classification two. Classification three has a left and a central lower light, and that's fast freight using coaching stock. So that's basically bogey stock with brakes, not the four-wheel stuff in this game. In this one, express freight, which is fitted with brakes, 55 mile an hour, and they have the, the same two codes. Actually, I'm not sure that's right. I'll have to check that. I'll make sure they're the same. It's, it seems funny that they're the same. But anyway, because they're limited to 55 mile an hour. Let me check that right now, actually. Just in case, because I don't think that's right. Hmm. Hello, Roy. Wrong on a stream. That's not like me. So we want classification number four. No, they are the same. Okay. All good. They really are the same. I wonder how the signal tells the difference. But anyway. And then we have classification five, which is an express freight where at least 50% of the train is fitted with brakes. Hello again, Chicago. And that has the head codes like this, one on the side, one on the top. Express freight where t less than 20% of the train is fitted with brakes. It'd be scary driving an express train with no brakes, to be honest with you, but, you know, England. And that has one on either side here. And then we have an express freight with no brakes at all. This one basically says, get out of the way. And then we have a through freight with unfitted brakes, and it's limited to 34 miles an hour. That seems like an odd number. And it's classification eight. And then we have a branch officer special ballast train or stopping freight limited at 35 mile an hour. And that's a classification nine with one. And then we have classification, well, it's really 10, but they call it zero, which has got the two like this. And it's for light engines alone or light engines with one or at most two brake fans. So there we go. Just thought I'd chuck that in there. And it's time to play. So, we're going to jump into a scenario this time. Are we? Yes. We're going to do... Moo. No, we're doing Worst Winter of All. This one. Excellent. Now, I'll go through the things that aren't quite prototypically correct when we go through these. But I do emphasise, yeah, it's got some prototypical things that aren't quite right about signal boxes and drivers and stuff like that. But it's a fun scenario. I quite enjoy it. Hopefully sound is coming through okay. It should be good. Welcome to Edge Hill Sidings. We'll be running a freight service down to Crew Basford Hall. Take care in the poor weather. It's expected to get worse. Hmm. Okay. Better go get in then. Follow the markers to climb aboard the engine. Where are they? Oh, it's in the engine. Right there. That's because I hardly ever have markers turned on. Uh, I'll let that open. I have a paint suspicion we'll be getting out shortly. Let's open that. Power to 75 in the snow. I'd be a little bit surprised at that. But let's do what it wants, because it's a scenario. And then let's bring it back a bit. And we probably want some sand. Brakes off.
Give it a little bit of regulator. It didn't tell me to open the cocks. I wonder if they're open. Let's have a look. Yes, they are. Come on, Chuff Chuff. Now, let's just check the uh, points, which, of course, you know, they're wrong. And that one. And that one. Oh, and that one's right. Look at that. One of them. One out of four is right. And we're heading directly towards a red signal. Thanks for confirming the sound there, Roy. Hope you're both still well. Pop goes the safety valve. There's another freight trundling around over there with some fitted and unfitted. Now this is how the um, fitted ones should be done. Actually, we'll go find that train before we leave because those are shipping containers. I want to have a look at them. He's trundling up to our stopping point here. Alright. When that rig figures out where I am. Hello to whoever else it was who joined the stream. Where are we going? We're we going onto that track. So those points are fine. They're fine. That one's good. That one's good. They're all good. Well, okay. The first one was uh, one out of the four points. But just before we um, go shuttling back, I do want to go taking off after that bloody train that went down here somewhere. Because I want to see the shipping containers. Here they are. So you think big metal boxes? This is what they used to look like. Big ones and little ones. They were the first standard shipping containers. And again, we wouldn't really go fully backwards because we're in the snow. No firemen in scenarios. Hmm. Invisible firemen. Okay. It's a little bit of a defect. A little bit. It would be cool if we actually had a fireman when we were meant to have one. But as we say in the classics, that's okay. So when I figure out what kind of train we're on, I'll set our head codes appropriately. Alright, so we have some fitted stock. In fact, we've got shipping containers on this one. Look at this. So we've got a van, and we've got two containers, two containers, long container, two containers, two containers, two containers, and then we've got a bunch of unfitted stock and a brake van on the back. So, the first thing we want to do is come around the front of our train, and we want to set our head code. So let me just go and find that thing again. There it is. So we are a express freight half fitted with brakes. So it's this one, limited to 50 mile an hour, and we want a left one and a middle one. So let's put those on now. There's the left one. We got there. And there's a the middle one. There we go. Now we're dressed. We're not naked anymore. As soon as the scenario recognises I've gone to 75%, I'll pull that back because it's too much for the snow. Release the brakes and give it a touch of throttle. 
cocks are still open. Now let's just check our track. It should still be fine. Looks good. Away we go. So what I mean by fitted and unfitted stuff, let's just watch as it comes past. So the van has brakes. These container flats have brakes. And when we get down here to the mineral wagons, they do not have brakes. So you won't see a brake hose connected between them. See how it's just dangling and there's no brake hoses. So they're just being yanked along not braked at all and then we have a brake van in the back which would have a guard that would crank on the handbrake at appropriate moments from whistle codes but they don't do that in the game at this time mr signalman looks down and goes well that's a through freight very good mr signalman in that signal box up there Climbing a bit of a gradient at the moment. And we're coming out of the giant yard. And we're going to go round the loop. All the way around. And there's something else moving over there, but there's a heap of dirt in the way, so I don't think we'll be able to see it. Oh no, there it is. You can just see the top of it. I would love to see more stuff moving around on the rails. We have a distant signal which is set at danger. So that's letting me know that soon something is going to be against me and that I shouldn't go too fast. Don't open that firebox door, invisible fireman. We're under a bridge. I don't want to die. You know what this means? The safety valve's going to go pop. moment I've got the regulator slightly open and I've got the cylinder cocks open and I am speeding just a tad but having the regulator slightly open is um, a little bit normal it just helps keep the cylinders warm and we're now climbing up a ridiculous grade anyway so we can throttle up go for throttle up challenger surely 40 years is not too soon for that joke Up and over on the flyover. We have a green signal ahead. So goose the throttle slightly open again. way around through here. We need to go in the brake van for the back camera like we did before. I kind of like doing that. Let's up a bit. There we go. Going through the abandoned station.
and that uh, signal that I smacked my face on then was in fact green. Looks like we're running all the way to the other end of the line at Basford Hall. That's a long way. Hello, Mark B. Welcome back. So what do you reckon, Mark B? Are you not going to get onto modding with this to look like a JA? We have a yellow signal up there, so I should probably stop accelerating. So I know what that's all about. Now the signalling system on here, as was explained, the distance signals can show you something that's adversely going to affect you, but it might not be the next thing. So I've got a green signal coming up, so it might be something else that's going to affect me. Now being a through freight, 50%, I'm speed limited to 55 Sorry, 45 miles an hour. So let's just give it a little break because we're on a bit of an incline. This next signal is green. And the lovely poppy safety valve. It's so loud. Only a matter of time before I get hit by a train here, but that's okay. I should wipe a bit so I don't get whacked on the ground so much. Guard mode. You got Spirit of Scheme, Chicago. Very good. Now you have to learn how to drive. It's not really hard, but a little bit harder than the diseases, but not a lot. You'll get used to it pretty quick. Another green signal. Now we're going on the map. We're coming up to the next yard. Now this thing will break like a pig covered in Vaseline, so uh, down a slide. Luxury. Two green signals. At least my distance green now, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. This station is really nice at night time. It's probably the best one at night time, I think. Greens again. It's not a Black 5 Chicago, it is a 6P. This one's an 8F. Black 5 is an entirely different locomotive.
I'm only throttling up to stop the safety valve going off. I don't really need to throttle up at this point. Fireman's view. If we had one. Oh, no fireman, no driver. Ah, what's going on? These signals all face away from me, you can tell because the back of them is white. So they do not apply to me. However, I think these ones just after the bridge do, so the sighting distance isn't awesome on these ones. Green light. some rail fanning and stand on the abandoned platform. Hello Blue Games, how are you? I saw your stream earlier but it was playing the same time I was streaming so it was a little bit of a half-hearted watch I'm afraid. Because I was kind of playing while I was playing and streaming while you were. Ah, oh, still no fireman. Gone missing. Jumped out the window. Uh-oh. I have to stop in a hurry with unbreak stock. This could be nasty. the rear of the train can press up nicely. I'll start giving it more and more and more brake. Should be okay to do this. Should be. Yeah, sander on? We do. Good. I think we're going to stop in time. Feels like it. With our train of ISO shipping containers from British Railways. Four tons. Imagine four tons in a modern container. Hmm. Much weight goes in the big one. Still only four tons. That must be the size of the crane more than anything, I guess. Guard goes, Oi, what's going on up there? Why are we slowing down, mate? Is our stuck train up there? Yeah, once you get stuck somewhere, it's, uh, yeah, a little bit fun. It's going to go past it, but it'll be pretty close. Train drivers are lazy. They'd get up really close anyway. Who said that? Everything okay? Clearly it's not. Thanks for checking with us. We got caught out by a huge snowdrift. I.e. they stopped really fast and their passengers' coffees everywhere. Luckily we haven't derailed, but we might be here for a while until we free ourselves. Use the cab hose. Use the steam, Luke. Could you inform the signaler for us? Sure. Now this is where the prototypical things start to go a little bit wrong. Let's have a look. There's no flags out this way and there should be flags or detonators. And of course we've got Mr. Driver not doing anything. Mr. Fireman looking his ass off with his invisible snow and his somewhat invisible hat.
This is the only time I've seen blood and coasted coaches in the game. I haven't actually seen them in service mode yet. How many flags are there? One. Two. Three. Four. All right, so there's the first prototypical problem. Let's just get that out of the way. They carry maximum three flags, one in the guard's van, one with the guard's detonators, and one with the driver's detonators. So they have three. The other thing about this is you're actually protected by fixed signals, so you wouldn't bother putting flags out because there's a signalman right there, right there, who has dropped the signals back to protect this train after no doubt the fireman ran back or the guard ran back and went, Oi, mate, we're stuffed. But anyway... Let's get out of here. We are in the snow, so I'm not going to give it full oomph. Brakes coming off. Little bit of regulator. Away we go. And he wants us to go to the signal box at Ditton Junction. What's wrong with the one up here? Because the signal boxes, surprisingly, in 1958, had funny things called telephones. And they could talk to each other. See ya, lazy driver. Who shovels nothing. Even though most steam engines would have a second shovel on there. Oh, safety valve closed, finally. You had flags on both ends. That's interesting. Yeah, you only put flags out if you're um, out on the line and you can't be protected by signals. That is a fairly normal rule pretty much anywhere. So if you're going to break down, break down in a station where you've got signals. It's gradually accelerating back up. I didn't put the reverser all the way to full forwards back there. Deliberately, because we're in the snow. So back into the 30s somewhere, that'll do. Let's turn our sand off. Don't waste it all. Yes, Roy, he's giving moral support. I suppose it's like most workplaces, there's always moral supporters and people who actually do all the work. So we've passed the signal box that we would have talked to. And at least this signal is also at stop, warning the trains. So there's in no danger whatsoever. So there's not really any need to tell any signalman at all. It's all well in hand. But that's okay. This helps with the gameplay. So we'll go along with it. Oop, getting a bit of slipping. I think it recovered that by itself. No, it hasn't. Despite the fact we're going downhill, we're slipping, which is kind of funny. But I'll bring the regulator right back anyway, because we're going downhill. Don't need much power. Not really. Now, the other fun, fun bit about this is there'd be a signal box at this station on Pretty Shore. Kind of sure. We have a yellow signal as well. Because this is the 50s, there'd be signal boxes everywhere. Ow, building. But that's okay. Let's keep cruising along. Bit of light breaking.
should be safe enough to increase that now. After the wagon's all bunched up. Because we have a distant at stop here. Our main signal is at proceed. And we have a red signal in 700 yards. Hopefully we'll be okay. Feels good. Feels like it's slowing down enough. So now approaching Ditton Junction. Stop way early, I think. Give it some oomph. Form the signaler of the stuck train. Okay. Uh, mid gear. And brake on. Train brake fully on. Regulator is closed. Alright, now it's safe to get out. Where is the signalman on this station? Yeah, I'm following a path. Get out of the way, people. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through. Okay. I don't think I can go this way. Can't. So it didn't really want me to come up the stairs, but there was a thing on the stairs. It wants me to go here. There we go. Leap down into the cess. This signal box is cool because it's sitting on a creek. Down there is water. It goes all the way under the signal box. This is the other prototypical issue is that the driver wouldn't actually go and do this. Now I'm talking to my invisible signalman. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Why is he a painter? Why isn't he a signaler? And he wasn't there a moment ago. That's okay. He's going to route all the traffic onto the slow lines. Yay! He would have done that anyway. Back we go. Hey, just while we're here. Can't go down all the way down there. But the um, water in this route, I really like it. They've done some good work. It's not as obvious in the snow, I have to say. Train. Has anybody else seen blood and custard coaches in service mode or only in scenarios? For those who are not sure, the blood and custard are the red and white ones. Anyway, we better go back to that train. There's an invisible pool. I got stuck on a shadow. And just then, there is a climb up point. Good. It's beginning to get worried then. Train's blowing off madly because my invisible fireman's still shoveling his little heart out. Door closed. Lamp for the fun of it. Sit. Yeah. And break off. We have got a green signal. And go to about 50 odd. Put our sanders on. Start the brakes for releasing and give it a little bit of go.
That was weird. Funny, but weird. Oh, it wants me to go to full forwards. All right, then. I don't think you'd want to do that in a real train. I think that would hurt you. Chicago's just done all five introductions. Very good. Hello, Matteo. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Have a look at my tutorials, uh, Chicago. You will find them helpful, I think. Probably more than the introductions. Let me just find you the playlist while this is slowly creeping up to speed. Let's see if I don't mess this up. Try not to. Uh, channel. Playlists. Spirit of Steam tutorials. Here we go. And I don't want to share the, that one. I want to share the whole thing. There we go. Copy. So anybody that's looking for a bit of explanatory help with getting going, a little bit more than what the introductions give you, um, feel free to jump into that playlist and I hope you find it helpful. All right, more fang. Since we're going up such a steep gradient, I'll actually leave the reversal where it is. We're going to be using a lot of steam now, but fortunately this is a magic pudding boiler. So we use it, it just comes back. It's all good. It's quite cool in the snow. You can almost see nothing. This is rather a big yard and you just can't see it. Cool. Let's go ahead a bit. Get any wheel slip. Oh, you'll get wheel slip sooner or later, Chicago. If you're gentle, you won't get too much of it. If you're not gentle, you will. One's going down a steep hill. I did see a lot of people mentioning in the forums that they see a lot of AIs that aren't chuffing. Check and see if they're going downhill, because, you know, they won't if they're going downhill. I think there are genuinely a few that um, perhaps should be making noise but aren't, but the majority of the ones that I've seen have all been going downhill. So we're coming out onto the big Runcorn Viaduct now. Which is quite an impressive sight. Still climbing. I wonder if the transporter bridge will be moving this time. This is only about the sixth or seventh time today I will have been past it. So far we've been unlucky. Sounds like a very modern beeper, doesn't it? Does that mean the bridge is going to move? No. Nope. 
train. Now should be coming around this corner any second too. There it is. Too far away. worker's point of view. I'm guessing by the beeping that it probably just finished animating. I'm not sure how often it actually moves. When you're in the guards van you get nice metallic sounds as you go across the bridge. Can't hear these in the loco. in through Runcorn. Green signal. kind of see what I mean about magic steam because even with no firemen we're still making steam me up a 1% grade so I'm quite happy with 28 miles an hour. Very slowly losing speed though. But I don't want to use more steam than I'm using at the moment. And because we're climbing a grade I don't want to um, bring it any back closer to mid-gear. The game won't actually punish me for it but I'm just trying to drive realistically. see that the distance is green. I cannot see what the main signal says yet, but I'm tipping it's green. There it is. If you look at it earlier, you see it peering over the top of the bridge, but I looked at it a bit late. green signal up there on the high stick. The height of that stick would have been because of that bridge so that on a clear day you'd be able to see it past the bridge. You can see how the other signals down there stick out over the top. It does take rather a long time to learn the semaphores so um, use the HUD. And as I mentioned in the last stream when you um, turn off this HUD you lose the steam HUD as well. I would love to separate those. At least the weather kind of matches what's happening outside today. 
haven't got snow, but it's pretty close to cold enough. Actually, you guys can talk to chair for a moment. Thinking about it, I'm going to put the heater on. house is not well insulated. Our gradient's dropping off a bit now so we should start picking up some more speed. It's cool that you can see the couplers are pulled taut which means the buffers aren't actually buffing. And these aren't the kind that you can adjust, so there's no winding or anything, you just have the, the bar, so you just flick it over to tighten them up. So it's not as though you can uh, stop them bumping on each other. Oh, right. That's not where I want to be. I want to be in the van. Come on, let me in the van. There we go. Good enough. Green signal. This is the new viewing angle from the driver's cameras from Spirit of Steam. And they introduced this because it's uh, reminiscent of a very, very old game which few people probably remember called Southern Bell, which might have been the first train emulator. And I say emulator rather than simulator because it um, didn't really offer much of a view of the surroundings. Twenty miles to crew. Must be copper. It's red. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> Can sit up here in the ganger's hut. Hey, who said there's no toilets in the game? Aha! We found a toilet! And I have wheel slip. Much worse though, because I'm going too fast. And I'm going downhill. Could be the brake on. After all, I've only got 19 miles to slow down. Footbridge out in the middle of nowhere. Smoke deflectors that aren't over the track. I was sad about that. They're still picking up speed, rather a lot. I'm guessing my unbraked wagons. Oh, look at the delivery. This is embarrassing. I'll be right back.
I mean, my wife, that's a box full of cats. See our speed is starting to reduce. Let's put a bit more braking on because it's still too fast for this class of train. Hey Chicago, if you see any blood and custard carriages, the um, white, little cream and red ones, let me know in service mode or blue games if you've seen any. Because I haven't seen any in service mode in the public build yet. Plenty in scenarios. So how are people enjoying Spirit of Steam so far from the ones who have got it? And Roy, you have no excuse. You need to buy it and start playing it. I'd come over and teach you, but you've got COVID. So no. Wow, the river's actually frozen. I've never seen that in Train Sim World before. Cool. Green signal, 17 miles to crew, looking at the map, we are about halfway. 38 miles long apparently, someone told me that in the earlier stream because I got it wrong. Started going uphill, so I can give it some oomph. I don't have too many frame rate problems, Mark B. It's sitting on 89 right now. Given it's capped at 90, that's probably the cap. Um, I do have much lower frame rates down around crew, and given that I run an i9 11700K and a 3090 card, I do wonder how some of the um, older consoles cope with it, the people with older PCs, because I get about 23 to 25 FPS down around there, which is, I mean, it's still quite tolerable. I mean, I'm only streaming to you guys at 30, and that, that's relatively tolerable to watch. By the game, Roy. Hey, who knows that you can actually hear jet planes on this route near Liverpool? Just out of interest. Whoop, train. Here, here's a good spot. I only got hit in the face by about 10 coaches, that's all right. signal ahead. Good to see. Anybody else end up behind buildings all the time when they go on the external camera? You've been below 10. What are you playing on, Mark? That's a bit awful. And where's that? Is that around crew or somewhere else?
imagine how cold that bloke's head's get. Uh oh. Stranger Things time. We're under the world. And back on top. I should go up a bit, then that won't happen. 14 miles to crew sorting sightings, middle arrival line number two. to change the cut off just a little violently then. Doesn't like 30s in the snow. I don't know why. I don't don't understand why it doesn't slip at 40 but it does slip at 30 because I would have actually thought it'd kind of be the other way around. Green light. One of the few signals not positioned on the left. Okay, I would have thought that would be okay. Those cards are good. Does it get really bad at crew? Says he's slipping away again. Got that sand on. Definitely need the sand on. Still slipping away. Mind you, I shouldn't be doing 50 mile an hour, so it's my own fault, probably. Right, right down, just ease that open just a little bit. Really should do something about that speed, shouldn't I? Since I'm supposed to not go more than 45. But no, it's staying on the tracks. We'll leave it alone. 12 miles to the cruise sightings. We're doing pretty well on time too. We've been running for an hour. So we'll finish just on time, I think. Give me just enough time to have some lunch before I uh, get into the next one at one o'clock. So the remainder of the stream schedule for today, and these times are all in AEST. This is the remainder of the schedule. So the next one is at one o'clock, which is in one hour's time. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, in one hour's time, I'll be doing the next one. Safety valve blasting away. Looks like gravity's doing the uh, speed reduction job for me. Just pop in and make sure I've got my pops open. I do. Throttle up again. Let the cylinders warm back up and then close the cocks. That'll do. Green on the distant, green on the main signal. Of 
first couple of times I tried to play the rescue scenario, I crashed the trains into each other. It's kind of sad. Mm, that's interesting, Mark. Have you tried one at night? I'm just wondering if it's the lights. Because the, um... Lights sometimes do bad things to some machines. It might be the textures on the stations are a bit heavy too. Maybe they're a little bit too high res. I'm sad there's no token exchange or staff exchange on this line. I mean, it's double tracks, so I guess maybe they wouldn't have actually done that. Maybe that was an earlier time in history. Nine miles, and we are at about the two-thirds mark. Well, probably more than that, actually. Probably the three-quarter mark. Green on both the distant and the main signal. Only one person in all those houses can afford coal to light their fire today. Sad for the rest of them. Can't say I don't know the feeling though, no, I'm not looking forward to my winter gas bill. It's never pleasant. people got on for the weekend. I'll be the second person on a wood train on Puffin Billy Diesel Hall. And the weekend after, I'm going back and doing a trainee fireman run, also at Puffin Billy. On steam. Obviously, a rail fan would stand on the roof of the station. Yeah, it's clearly where a rail fan belongs. All right. Who is that? I heard a cow. I don't see any cows, though. Where are the cows? Green on the main stick here. Go down to the farm. Watch the train from inside the barn. There you go, get out of the snow. It'll turn up eventually. When it's not snowing, this is a really nice river, and I encourage people to have a look because it's got pond scum and leaves and things on the water. It's really pretty. It's very nicely modelled. Best water in uh, Transim World 2, I have to say. I'm 
It's almost a proper whiteout here. Seven miles to crew. And who says there's no track joint noises? It's true there's not enough, but they are around. here and do my favourite thing. Just watching the steam with the bridge. So it does work quite nicely. It's quite impressive. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, not for me. I had a brief moment of heart attack there. It's like, that's red. But it's the other track. It's okay. One is green, another one of the ones that's one of the ones that's not on the uh, left hand side of the track. Oh, and I should probably start slowing down, I think. Just keep that cracked open. Actually, it's 5.8 miles. What am I slowing down for? We have a little while to go yet. Thinking to myself, why am I thinking I need to slow down? That's a wally move. Welcome to the uh, people that just joined the stream. Feel free to say hello in the chat if you'd like to. No compulsion, of course. We're currently driving the worst winter of all scenario. And we're almost at the, to crew where this stream will stop. But there's another one that starts in 50 minutes from now. And why do I have big gaps? Because I want lunch. miles to crew. And Chicago's producing a new video on Steam, yeah? What have we got on these signals? We have a green. When you're looking at the semaphores, the taller signals are the more important ones, I guess you could say. up with the safety valve going quiet soon. Hello Kobe. 4am in Spain. <laughs> Drank too much coffee. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> Mind you, in um, lots of areas of Europe, not too um, sure about Spain, but lots of areas of Europe, 4am is kind of the middle of the day. So lots of people get up to lots of things at night time. Chicago's very excited about making his first Steam video. Hello, Robert Muldoon. Popped in to say hello. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. Chicago, you don't need to do that. You don't need a running, running count of his climb. 
I just combined the words clock and time and made climb. Hmm. Yeah, I remember visiting my wife's relatives in Greece and about three o'clock in the morning we went out and had lunch. It's just how they do stuff. They sleep during the day. It's alright. Three miles to crew, which will be the end of this stream, and the next one starts in about 45 minutes time. So it just gives me time for lunch. Because you guys can sit there munching, but if I sat here munching, you'd probably be annoyed. Let's see how guns fire lit. No. I got the other end. Close this door. Oh, let me off the carriage. I'm <laughs> stuck. There we go. Come on. There we go. Now the guard will be happy. Nothing wrong with the European way of life. Just uh, buffering all of our carriages up together and then I can brake a bit harder. So remember that Chicago? Brake a little, let them buffer up and then you can brake harder. Still have my ejector open, which is why I came in here. Driven a hundred miles. Well, it's probably more like a thousand, but yeah, in this field I'll go with a hundred. Okay. Headed. Going right into the yard by the looks. Listening to the plates belting each other there. You wouldn't want to stand on the tender, would you? T clearly stands for Thomas. Coming into the big ugly crew signal box. It wasn't so long ago, I watched a documentary about them destroying that to build the new signal box. And believe it or not, the new signal box was even uglier. I knew that would get you excited, Chicago. <laughs> Welcome to Cruise Station. 
Crewe, if you're not familiar with the history of this place, was um, one of the really big railway cities. Because an awful lot of the locomotives and rolling stock were, if not built here, were maintained here. And Crewe works. Absolutely massive enterprise. Oh, I agree, Kobe. The sound on this is um, quite pleasant. The steam sound and the uh, steam particle effects are well and truly beyond what I thought was achievable. It just goes to show how little I know about Unreal Engine. But they managed it. There are some pretty clever people at Dovetail. Even though we're stopping soon, I'm keeping the power on just to stop the safety valve going off. I have a yellow signal. And we are diverging. We're going slow enough for that, so that's fine. Actually, it might be 15, thinking about it. Let's just give it a little bit of break. Yeah, 20 was enough. But we're going to have to stop soon anyway, so start slowing down. There's a lot of documentaries about crew. Oh, I hope that's not red. No, it's not red. It's alright. It's got a yellow light too. There's a, a lot of documentaries on crew and the LMS through the years, ranging from the early years, where they were absolutely building the crap out of everything, and then in the uh, later years when it was in decline, I'm being naughty, but that's okay. Yes, the Run 8 DLC disease. Oh, you want this livery on your SD70? Well, that's 20 bucks. Oh, you want this livery? That's 20 bucks. Oh, you want this one? That's 20 bucks. Oh, you want a livery for your coaches and your carriages so they don't just say Run 8? Well, that's 20 bucks. You've bought an Amtrak route and you want an Amtrak train? Well, that's 20 bucks for the engine. And another 20 bucks, and that red light is not red. Good. And you oh, you want Amcap carriages as well? That's another 20 bucks. Oh, your carriage has got a motor rail and it's turning up as a big nondescript grey blob. Well, that's another 20 bucks. Yes, I know the Run 8 method. They certainly stiff you for the cash if you want it to look anywhere near decent. Open, not closed. I think to own the full collection from TSW is actually pretty high too. I haven't added it up, but there's about 20. It's probably going to stop me early, so I'll pull against my own brakes for a bit.
can't help wondering if these poles should have wires on them. It's going to stop early again, isn't it? be pretty happy with that. Let's see how we did. And Chicago's video is 58 minutes and 30 seconds. No doubt recording while while streaming. I put my stream sound didn't get into your train sound. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. Stayed under the speed limit everywhere. And a gold medal. A big glod. Cool. All right, folks, it's time for me to have some lunch. So I will be back at one o'clock, which is in about 37 minutes. And I'll uh, see you then. And we'll be playing the really reliable rescue scenario for that one. So thanks for the interactions, folks. Really enjoying streaming to you today. It's good fun. All right, see you in 37 minutes, I hope. 36 now. See ya. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.